Hey peeps, welcome back to another video. I am here just honestly, I'm really thinking about my goals, of course, as I do every year on this channel. Um, I like to wait a bit though, like just to let January start a little bit good before I really evaluate uh, what I want out of the year or things that I would like out of the year. I don't expect everything to be perfect and I never really go back and check the prior year's goals videos not because I'm afraid that I was like, oh, I didn't, I didn't achieve anything, but because I don't feel like it. And if it's the same goals from the last video, so be it. <laughs> so I'm here with another video, New Year's goals 2022. Um, I like to think I've achieved quite a bit last year, um, unpredictable as it was. Whew. Um, yeah, let's talk about it. So first and foremost, um, of course, I want to keep drawing and posting on my YouTube channel. Um, I have this one-year commitment in my head um, that optimized my video content into different types of like other things I could use for it or whatever. I actually started a TikTok, <laughs> I think maybe the 31st of December or something. And I let me just say something, okay? TikTok, I know, is. I already know it's not going to be my thing, but I'm going to try it anyway just so I have um, the proper context for why it's not for me. I can already kind of sense why. Maybe I'll make another video about it and I'll gain like 21,000 views or something. That's the thing about making videos about social media. It's gonna do well. Um, I don't know, I don't enough, like the thing that I made a video about it gets the most views and I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like the thing that I'm talking about and it gets the most attention, go figure. But anyway, um, I want to make more talking shop videos. This is mostly going to be like going forward kind of uh, talking about web comics and my web comic in general, like sort of channel and I guess tips that I could share with you guys and experiences because I know that I say I launched a comic, but I've been doing this for a very, very, very long time. Um, since high school. I was not always online doing this, but I have always been making comics in one form or another, and I like to share that experience. And I, I, I know that a lot of people are like, oh, you know, I don't want to share stuff when I don't, not a professional, whatever, but you don't have to be a professional to share what you know. So I have to really remind myself of that when I share my work and when I share my experiences because I think that you get a lot more out of learning from somebody that's a little closer to you in level than learning from a bunch of people that can wax poetic about the 10 million people they know in the industry and it's just so far away from you and it's kind of hard to relate so yeah I want to use my voice to talk a little bit more about my personal experiences kind of as like a an indie artist, if you will. That's kind of what I am. So yeah, I also have other goals. It's not just YouTube and it's not just my webcomic. Uh, the second thing on my list, because I have a list right next to me, is to remake my portfolio into an illustration portfolio. And the reason why I'm doing this is because that seems like where my skill set is has always gone back to most comfortably. Um, I want to make my illustration portfolio really stand out and use elements that I've learned and my studies that I've done and the subjects and topics that I like. I don't want to just only make my webcomic. I want to be um, really diverse in what I make. Uh, I know that earlier, if, if you've been following me on YouTube for a while or anywhere for a while for that matter, you would know that I was all about storyboarding. Like two years ago, I was all about it. I wanted to be in the industry for storyboarding and like it burnt me out just trying. So what the heck was I gonna feel when I actually got there? I don't know. Maybe I was gonna be already too burnt out to do any work by then. Um, it just felt like every time I tried to like make two steps forward, it was like five steps back. Like, oh, you need to do this, you need to do that. And then looking at everybody else in the industry doing like one or two things and it's like effortless for them or seemingly effortless for them. I can't speak for their experience but I got burned out by it so I'm kind of turning back to what I know best which is comics and illustration so yeah I think it'll look better as a portfolio 
to be honest with you because I've always had trouble trying to figure out how to make storyboard portfolios and how it works and it's always changing and everybody's got a different opinion on how best to view storyboards etc etc so it'll just be easier for me to just revamp everything and have like you know exactly who I am when you see my art. And that's kind of where I'm at right now with that. Um, it lends better to the skills that I've learned over time. Um, that's not to say I didn't learn anything from storyboarding. I'll always be really grateful for what I learned. It's just, um, I'm ready to stop spending so much money on like workshops and mentoring that I don't, like I don't wanna do that anymore. I'm gonna be mostly self-studying and maybe I'll find a mentor for illustration. I would love that. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna like do kind of self-study and get some critique from people if I can. So yeah, remaking my portfolio in 2022 into an illustration portfolio and I can't wait to show you guys because I already have some ideas for pieces that I want to put up uh, and I'm really becoming more I'm becoming happier with the work that I do and the work that I have been making um, I'm beginning to be more comfortable and and um, liking the work that I make and um, I'm glad that that's happening because I had a lot of rough spots in, in the last two years with my art where it's just it wasn't coming out how I wanted it and I wasn't feeling confident about posting it um, and I'll get to that I think I'll make a video about that at a later date but I want to move on so uh, the third thing is of course ramping up my comics now I talked a little bit about this while I was talking about my YouTube channel but uh, I want to finish Elusios um, I really want to finish it in the spring if I can but if I can't it's okay um, I'm in the final stretch and I keep telling myself that but it's a lot of work I'm in the final stretch of this story and I really want to finish it by this year preferably spring early summer um, if I can because there is another story coming up that I've written in its entirety that I'm so excited about that I really want to get to. It's not that I don't love Elusios, but I feel like I've spent enough time on it trying to figure it out and now I'm like, okay, I'm ready to move on with another story. You know what I mean? Like, it, it hasn't been, it's been simmering this other story for like maybe um, half a year or so because I was trying to figure out the series of events that happen and who is in the story at all and what happens and what all goes down or whatever. So yeah, I sat down one day, wrote it all down, just just like in my old, like unused 2021 planner that I regretted buying. And now I'm using it for like an idea dump. And it was like four pages of just like full on start to finish story. And I am every time I read back on it, I'm like, God damn, I'm, I'm so excited about this next one. Let me at him. Anyway, yeah, um, I also want to uh, be a little braver about talking about my comics at all. Uh, sometimes I feel like I... So I have this trouble with having... F liking things and telling other people about it because uh, like I feel like I would get made fun of or whatever it's kind of like this kind of deep-seated thing that I have where it's like haha you like this I'm making fun of you now like it's in my head I know it is it's in my head but I have a lot of trouble talking about things that I like and I really want to not have that problem anymore I want to be so like unabashedly loving my projects and like uh, loving the characters that I make and the stories that I make and I want to be able to talk about them freely without fear of people judging me for liking something or talking about something constantly because y'all I really want to talk about my characters constantly on social media I just I just want to do it I just I just want to talk about them all the time and I always hold myself back like ha ah, this is perfect but I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to bother anybody and I, I don't want to be made fun of and etc etc and it's like no what what is what is holding you back everybody else gets to talk about their stuff why can't you talk about your stuff and it's like Ugh! I'm like I, okay Whew. all right let me just let me just uh okay so that's basically I want more confidence in talking about my work 
um, because I'm confident in making it and showing it, but talking about it, no, no. Like, let's work on that this year. Uh, my next goal is, and it's a small little thing, it doesn't really have to happen, but uh, possibly get an agent for illustration. Um, I know that I could uh, really be working on like a particular kind of style or whatever, but I really do want to like lock in and hone in on the things that I tend to draw and really make that my quote-unquote brand my brand uh so yeah uh, I just yeah like that I want to try to find an agent if I can and if they can find me work great um because I'm honestly ready to go professional um all I do is just make a few pieces and really work at it um and I'm just ready to like start my illustration webcomic artist career like every time I turn around it's just like every other thing just feels so unsatisfying like every other like retail job or whatever so yeah that's on the list there um nothing major nothing big but it'll be nice to have um so next on my list is build up my patreon into somewhere people want to be um the same for coffee uh my prerequisite to this would be to build up my community, which is also hard to do because I'm not talking about the things that I love to work on. So it's kind of a full circle prerequisite, do this to get that, or do this to achieve this and earn this sort of thing. Um, Cause I notice that sometimes like people will come and go like on my Patreon, like they'll join and like they'll join for a couple months and then they'll leave. And I won't know why, because they don't fill out the exit survey or anything. And uh, I'm just curious, like, you know, what what could possibly engage people more with my work and the community at large? Because I have a hard time with that, to be honest. I actually don't do that well on social media because I don't um, engage as much as I think I should or as much as social media and the algorithm thinks I should. Um, it's not really like the same anymore where it's like, oh, well, you could just post and, and leave and people will just talk to you. It's not like that anymore. You have to like go out and manually talk to people and seek out the things you like and leave comments and everything. And that makes a lot of sense to me. It's just that I'm no good at it and <laughs> I would like to be good at it. I would like to improve my, my ability to talk to other people and other artists, not just other artists, but like people at large, just to like interact with them and everything. So I guess I'm really just trying to make that first step like as it is by making this video. So yeah, there you go. Keep keep moving forward. Keep moving forward is actually what I wrote down in this thing. So yeah, keep moving forward. Don't stop. Um, I mean like take breaks, yeah, but like don't give up. I guess I am trying to tell myself here in this note. Um, apply to illustration work. Now this one, this one is gonna give me trouble. And I already know because I spent a lot of 2020 and 2019 handling rejection and, and like the first half of 2021, just handling rejection. And um, I have to kind of think of it as like a sort of putting myself out there without any expectation. And I had to remind myself of that. So yeah, um, do more studies, doing more studies. I've been doing that this since like maybe last year, 2021. I've been like really actively studying the work that I aspire to like add different um, attributes into my own work. So I've been studying a lot, a lot, a lot. I've been studying a lot of Leindecker, <laughs> uh, JC Leindecker and a lot of Caravaggio um, and John Singer Sargent. And I really want to get down because I'm I'm in love with like the painting process and I love color. So I really like to try to replicate or at least get a feel for the brush strokes that they would make, especially Leindecker. He's like my favorite right now. I've, I've had like a Leindecker phase for the past two years and it won't go away, which is justifiable because he was a damn good artist. Um, I prefer him to Rockwell, actually, but I'll get into that at another video, perhaps. Maybe you'll want to hear about it, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to all of this stuff. Uh, just keep in touch with friends and family as well, um, because I feel like I've been drifting in and out of, like, floating in and out of, like, reality when it comes to, like, interacting with people, which is, like, yeah, justified. It's a freaking pandemic out here. I can't just reach over and touch people and what well, not that I ever really do that but like 
I could I could stand to do a few phone calls here and there from time to time. I could stand to like text or something or DM people. But yeah, friends and family, gotta have them. Can't live without them. Everybody's, you know, out here trying to be safe or not everybody, but like a lot of people out here trying to be safe and careful and everything. So yeah, just keeping in touch with them. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all my goals that I wrote down i really want to just thank you guys for watching this video and let me know in the comments like what are some things that you would like to achieve but um just oh also let me know what you actually want to see on this channel a lot of it's going to be pertaining to um web comics and whatnot um the next video is actually going to be a sketchbook tour of mine it's not going to be a long video because it's not a long sketchbook it's like got 24 thick pages so that's all it's gonna be. It's just a little sketchbook. Not, not, nothing too, nothing too special. You know, just a little sketchbook. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So, like, let me know what you guys want to see. Like, even if it's like not necessarily pertaining to web comics, like anything that you want to see process-wise, or if you want me to touch on something, let me know. I don't know what footage I picked for this video, so please enjoy it regardless. Thank you to my patrons and my supporters and my readers. I really appreciate you guys over on everywhere that I am right now. And yeah, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.